what's going on everybody this is island hopper tv coming to you from koh samui let's do it that's right guys we are going to show you around koh samui we're going to do a full island tour but first what we're going to do is we're going to show you what it looks like to take the ferry from suratani all the way to koh samui it takes about an hour all right so we've just arrived here in suratani from Krabi. we got dropped off at the pond Fraya here by our taxi driver which is actually the wrong one so we have to get go another hour to Domsak here and then from there we'll catch the ferry so we're still an hour away but we've decided to stop and get some seafood and I decided to play it safe and just get some spicy prawns with some rice and before you knew it we were at Domsak Pier ready to go to Samui Island All right, so we've arrived at the pier here, and this is where you get the ferry to Koh Samui. Uh, we drove out along this long pier, about a half a mile, and you can see the islands out here. It's a bit choppy today. We were in Thailand here during November, so just bear in mind that is monsoon season. It seemed like it rained every day we were here. There's really three ways you can get to Koh Samui from Damsak Pier or this area of Suratani. You could take this high-speed ferry, you could take a speedboat, or you could take a long-tail boat. But most people prefer this here high-speed ferry because when it rains, you have cover from the rain. Well, we're taking a taxi to Chowang Beach, which is about 40 minutes away by car. How far? Yeah, 40 minutes. 800 bucks. And in case you're wondering where the main central area is, it's by the airport. That's Cha Wang Beach. That's where we're going to start out here. And if you're looking at a map, Cha Wang is actually on the northeast side of the island. This is actually the party place on the island. If you want that eco retreat in the jungle or on an isolated beach, you go southeast or towards the southwest where the big resorts are. All right, here we are at Cha Wang Beach. We're just gonna walk around here and show you what the beach looks like real quick, and then we'll head over to the next place. And as you can see, there's a bunch of resorts along here. They start at as low as $25 a night for a hotel right on the beach, such as the Cha Wang Resort right here. Or you could say something like the Mercur for $65 a night. It's November. That's the pricing right now. That's a pretty good price for this kind of location right on Cha Wang Beach. Right here along the beach, you have the Sentara Resort and you have the Scene Beach Club. This is a really happening spot. So if you're looking for the location along Cha Wang Beach where they got the action, it's right there at the Sentara Resort and Scene Beach Club. This right here is called Thai Favorites. All right, so now we are going to do the Circle Island tour. We've got an awesome tour guide. This guy's name is Volvo. He's gonna comment below if you guys wanna get a hold of him. He can take you around in this van. All right, so here we are at the Big Buddha. We're gonna go up and take a look at this big old Buddha. And what you can look forward to seeing on this Circle Island tour that we're gonna show you, along with the temples, also some waterfalls, and some awesome beaches towards the south of here. I will put timestamps below so you guys can fast forward to any point in the video. 
Also, I will put a link below to our Krabi and Phuket videos below so you can click on that in case you're just now catching up with this series that we're doing from Thailand. By the way, next up is going to be Koh Phanom, which is actually where they do the full moon parties. Yeah, and if you look out here, you can see Fisherman's Village. We're actually going to go over there a little later. Right next to the big Buddha is the mermaid statue. And hey, you guys gotta come see my friend Volvo. Yeah, welcome. Welcome to Kasamoy. I'm Mr. Wando. Motorbike? Driver. And welcome, taxi. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> yeah, okay. I spent two days getting to know Volvo and I can tell you that is one awesome guy. And here we are at Ply Lam Temple. You can see the big Buddha. This is actually a Chinese Buddha. And on the island of Samui, you'll definitely be able to tell a difference between the Chinese temples and the local Thai temples. But check out these fish. They're almost as big as sharks. I mean, I saw them at first. I was like, is that a shark or is that a catfish or is that a carp? What is that? Yeah, so both of these temples are right around Cha Wang Beach up in the northeast side of the island. But what we're going to do now is we're actually going to head south. And this area we're about to show you at Lad Co might just be the best place on the island if you're looking for relaxation with close proximity to the downtown area. Yeah, guys, we are now here at the Lad Co viewpoint looking down at Cha Wang Beach. Beautiful tropical setting here. Lots of big homes right up on the hill. It's a really beautiful day today. And the reason I recommend this spot is because there are some secret cove beaches around here that are really nice, which we're gonna show you next, but also the views that you get are some of the best you'll see anywhere in Thailand. And in case you're wondering why it's called Grandfather, Grandmother Rock, well, if you look right over there, you can see the uh, male anatomy, if you want to call it that, up. And then over here, it's down. That's why they call it hard blank rock. You get my drift. Coconut ice cream. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Good. Wow, amazing. You want one, too? Two. How much? I have coconut, too. How much? 50 baht for one. Okay. Two. Coconut inside, you can eat. We have to be Coconut ice cream. <laughs> yeah, you can eat, huh? Mmm. Eat, good. Oh, you can eat? Yeah, you can eat. Very good. good. And here we are at a Chinese Buddha. Look at that. 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 So the statue you're looking at right behind me is called Guan Yu. It's actually a man who existed about 800 years ago, and he is considered the god of war. And the reason that the Chinese revere him is because he was a person of righteousness and loyalty, and he basically became a deity after. And what we're going to do now is head to Lamai, which is considered the second best place on the island to stay right after Cha Wang, if party and nightlife is what you're looking for. All right, we're here in Lamai. It is around 11 in the morning, so not much going on, but we're going to go down to the beach now. Lamai Beach, you can see lots of shore breaks here. So 
So we're here at the Mummified Monk. And all I will say about the Mummified Monk exhibit here, it was interesting. That's up to you what you want to call it, but hey, it is an attraction and you can see he's a mummified monk. So there's a story of this man here. For 50 years, he was dedicated to his family life. After that, he became ordained into monkhood. And for 20 years, he studied meditation and was known as a great person as a Buddhist monk. So first 50 years, he was dedicated to his family and work. After that, for the next 28 years, because he passed away at 78, he was a monk. And they decided to put his body here as a mummy. So here we are at Natan Beach. Actually, the tide is up, so you can't see the beach, but this is usually where you arrive on the ferry from Suratani. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna show you one of those kind of private beaches I was telling you about. This one's called Silver Beach. So add it to the list, but don't tell everyone. So here we are at Crystal Bay, Silver Beach. Some people, depending on who you ask, would say this is actually the best beach on the entire island. food here. Let's go feed these elephants. Out here buried in the jungle is the Nam Wang Waterfall here at Ko Palm Forest right here. So this is actually a park where you can do several different hikes. Each one lead you to a different waterfall. And here we are at the beautiful Nam Wang Waterfall. It's like a lychee, that's what they say. Look at that. 
put that in your cocktail. Delicious. Nam, this is actually the ferry port to go to Koh Phanang, and then you can even go to Koh Tao from here. You can see the high-speed ferry right there taking off. All right, here we are at Fisherman's Village. This is Boput Beach. We're going to go walk around and see what's going on over here. Right along the waterfront here, they have a foot massage for 30 minutes for 200 baht per person. Now, what do you guys say we show you around some of the nightlife out here in Cha Wang? Beautiful. And as you can see by the signs here, this is Central Samui right here in Cha Wang Beach. Now we're going from Koh Samui to Koh Phanang, which you can see right over in the distance. We're taking the high-speed ferry.
That's right guys, so that means our next video is going to be from Koh Phanong. I would say if you do plan to visit Koh Samui, try to do a week here. This island is awesome and I cannot wait to go back. We will see you on the next video from Koh Phanong. And if you like this one, you can also watch Krabi and Phuket. Click the link.